it is burning on the state park. It's consumed most of our primitive area and our hiking trails and some of our backcountry. That was Sunday night. By Monday afternoon, it got worse. Well, it looks pretty bleak at the moment. Uh, we're the threatened. The cabins at Bastrop are pretty well threatened. I think we're going to be able to save them tonight. But Tuesday, the fire was closing in on Bastrop State Park's refectory, an historic building built by the Civilian Conservation Corps during the 1930s. On that far part of the flank. So far, over 75 Texas Parks and Wildlife personnel, including state park firefighters, parks police, and game wardens, have bulldozed fire lanes, sprayed water on buildings and campgrounds in an attempt to save the park. It's questionable with the smoke you can see coming along here. If it gets into this canyon down below us here, it's going to be very difficult to hold the fire from going all the way to Bastrop. All but 100 acres of the 6,000-acre park have been blackened by fire, but firefighters have so far been able to save most of the CCC structures. Wildlife is also in jeopardy, and park officials are concerned about threats to the endangered Houston toad. The 124,000-acre Lost Pines area of Bastrop County, which includes the state park, is home to the largest known population of the small reclusive amphibian in the United States. Months of drought has already stressed the Houston toad habitat and makes for fast fuel for a wildfire's appetite. For Texas Parks and Wildlife, this is Lydia Saldana. Well, it is July the 10th, 2020, and I'm on the, the post trail in the Bastrop State Park, trying to navigate around here. This got started early this morning at 8 a.m. Had a little difficulty finding where the trail was exactly, but I'm on it now so this has already been a decline about 200 meters I think so this is going to be a lot of up and down I think this morning should trail walk should take me about an hour and a half maybe hour and 45 minutes two hours crossing a bridge right now I can see that bridge right there Pretty sun's out, there's no cover right now, so it's going to be a hot and sweaty morning. This is a water fountain that was built in the 1930s by the Civilian Conservation Corps. Don't know if it works, so I'll have to walk around and see. Can't see anything. Maybe they plugged it up. But they do have a sign here that describes what it is. So, interesting. Coming up on another bridge. This is the third bridge so far, and I haven't even gone half a mile yet. A lot of little creeks here. But there's not much water in them, if any at all. It's been pretty dry here lately. A lot of sand on this trail. Okay, I've gone about half a mile. A lot of up and down, a lot of bridges, a lot of sand. You can tell this is a trafficked, well-trafficked trail. It's, there's not much loose clay. I got cut off there, so. It's a pretty smooth trail. It's well worn, tr well traveled. A lot of sand, not many rocks, bridges. There's another bridge coming up on another bridge. Hopefully, get a video of that too. Coming up onto another bridge here. Not much water, if any at all. But probably in the past, it, when it rains, it probably gets pretty bad. That's why they had to build all these bridges.
smooth trail. Like I said, a lot of sand. I don't know if that's because of the environment or this is just all worn down. This been well traveled path. Another little hill here. Well, I just passed the one mile mark and and it's pretty interesting trail. I'm sweating a lot already, even it's only probably 8.30 in the morning. And I know it's, the sun is not out, it's, there's a lot of clouds. And there's a lot of sand. I feel, I'm walking on the beach right now with all this sand that's on the trail. Just like a beach walk. So far so good though. This is kind of a clear area you don't see very often on trails like this that are littered with trees everywhere definitely some fires out here you can see on this tree right along right off the trail it's pretty charred out from fire and there's trees behind it that are also charred out you can see the the valley of trees the valley of old pine trees that have been burned down and end of their lifespan. See the road over there and also the station back there. Made it up the hill a little higher and now I have a better view. A little winded but I have a good view of the the park in the valley there. Well, I'm walking right into the sun and have been for the last five minutes. And the clouds are kind of dissipating. Not on the trail exactly. I am uh, on the trail, at least on the map, there's a alternate route that I'm on. But it never looked like I had any other choice. So I'm on the right path. And now I'm in the wide open area where there's no sun cover, no shade. So it's going to be pretty hot and sweaty for a little while here. Okay. I'm at the big fork in the road, in the trail, so to speak. And it looks like this part of the trail is going to be an old road. Okay, so I'm on the back road, so to speak. It's actually a little car car road that is the alternate trail since the other one is closed off. It's nice to have wide path, a wide berth here because uh, the trail was quite narrow at spots and there's a lot of undergrowth and a lot of locusts and lizards getting on you and coming after you so this is probably make up some good time here yeah I wanted to get a real good picture of the uh, cell tower that's giving me all this great coverage out here right there man it's getting great coverage okay about uh, a mile into this uh, we're about three quarters of a mile into this road and I passed the 3.1 mile mark just a few moments ago. I think it's going to turn out to be a five miler because uh, it's still quite a ways to go and there's a lot added on um, after that fork back about a mile back. So it's going to be a good five miler today, which I like. And I'm ready for and the weather is it's not it's probably in the mid 80s right now maybe high 80s 
and it's only about uh, 940. Okay, I'm back on the main trail as mapped out in all trails and making good time sweating my whole shirt is uh totally wet right now and i'm getting a little bit of a sunburn i can feel it so it's going to be a little painful this afternoon when i get home i put some aloe on or something like that yeah you can tell i'm back on the main trail now all the pine trees are out there's a dead tree it's pine area now thank god you can smell it air's not flowing through here like it was in the open but it's a lot cooler with the, the shade now i'm about uh, 4.1 miles into it probably have about three quarters of a mile or a mile to go sun's really beating down on me now nothing I can do right now except finish out the uh, hike would like to get some shade but there's not much on the trail and anymore and the clouds are starting to disappear so just have to gut it out for the rest of the trail well it's uh, last climb of the day at least it's all stair step Pretty long one though. Well, the hike is complete. Bastrop State Park, July 10th, 2020. Five mile loop with a few diversions on the way. Pretty rocky, pretty sandy, a lot of up and down, um, and not, not much cover, not much shade. So it made for a hot couple of hours. Probably got me a little sunburn on my arms and um, sweating in my shirt. You can see it's uh, completely soft and wet with sweat. But it was a good hike, enjoyed it, and um, we'll come back sometime.